What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we kind of con consolidated, I guess would be a good way to put it, our little puddle jumper type of thing. Uh, made it a little bit smaller, a little less um, crazy or resource intensive, I suppose. Um, so. The entire purpose of this ship, in essence, at the moment, uh, was for this little guy, the ore detector, to help us find some resources. So, what we're gonna do... I don't really trust the battery at this particular point in time. Um, mainly because I had to turn the vent and stuff off just to get it to charge. Because uh, the vent requires 330 kilowatts. Go figure. Who'd have thunk it? Okay. So we have our ammo, we have our stuff. Um, the only thing that I think I need is in here. And apparently I cannot get it uh, because I tore it all to pieces. So that's, um, hmm, unexpected. Do I have any reactor? Oh, I do. Okay, and steel... what else do I need? Motors, computers? Let's see if I can... I don't think I have... I have one?! Really? I need one. Oh, gosh. Alright, actually, while I'm here, what does it require? Okay, I need silver for that and solar cells. Nickel and silicon, neither of which I have a ton of. Not nearly enough to make the rest of that panel work. Speaking of which, how's my battery doing here? Store power, nice! We're up to 700 kilowatts. 760, actually. Um, Alright. Still have a hole in my roof. Okay. So, I don't have enough to get the uranium. I wanted to get uranium as a backup basically, on the off chance, but I need silver for that. Do I have anything that I could use to make silver? Because, wait a minute, silicon, nope, 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 nope. Well, all right, silver, 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 any of you require, well, let me rephrase, anything that I actually have that I could turn back into silver? Because I don't think I do. Nope. Does not look like it. Alright, so the extra uranium as a buffer is out, apparently. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab that there. Make sure we're recharged. Okay. So at this point, we should be pretty okay at taking a little adventure. Um, I don't really know how this was gonna go, to be honest. Because, um, quite frankly, the power on this ship scares me. Um, where's the battery? So it only has a hundred stored. It's not using anything. So, yeah, but like the vent... Max required input is 330 kilowatts, so I don't know what that's going to do to the battery with only 108 or 104 kilowatt hours. I don't know how it translates. Also an interesting thing, the vent is off, but my oxygen is not being used at this particular point in time. I find that to be interesting. I know the air vent is set to depressurize, and the room is not pressurized. Wait, it's not? Why not? Okay, that's weird. I just now noticed this. If I leave this off... Uh, at the moment, I, we're not moving or anything, but at the moment, the ship is kind of fine. Like, I'm not, my O2's not going anywhere, and I'm not dying. But the ship's not on, so that's kind of another issue. Um, 
Also, let me group these together so I can just control them. Because apparently I forgot to do that. And we're going to grab these and switch lock. Okay, so let's turn everything on. I'm going to turn the vent off for now just to see what happens because I'm kind of curious now. Oh, it does actually tell you. I just noticed down in the bottom right corner, they do actually have a six minute, like a battery time. That's pretty cool. Because I got to be able to get back, essentially. Now, I don't have a beacon or anything either, unfortunately. Let's see if we can fly a little bit sideways and keep the sun up here. I don't know what the range on this thing is either in terms of um, in terms of the power and so I am very surprised at the I'm very surprised at the oxygen though because I feel like I even had to put a vent on there and everything wait a minute no I took the tank out I was thinking for a second, maybe it's because I had an air tank, but I took that out. So, yeah, I really don't know why I'm not dying. I mean, I'm not complaining, really. I'm more just confused. It says O2 is high. It's possible. Hold on. It is possible that it's got enough air in the cockpit right now that it's not an issue. Maybe. That could be something that's going on. Um, I want to try and keep that as targeted as I can because we're running low on power as it is. I'm still not seeing anything though. I don't know how low I have to get. Tell you what. Let's fly up to, say, the top of this mountain up here. Maybe. Still not seeing anything on the, uh, on the ore detector. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. Since we can get sunlight from here, we are going to drop the ship. lock it. Turn that on so that then I can turn that off. Let that charge up. And then we might want to simply fly around a little bit here and see if we can't find anything manually. Um, so that we kind of moved a little bit. We're, we're somewhere else, you know, a little further away from our base. Um, but we also want to conserve power on the ship for now. So I'm going to run around for a little bit and see if I can't find any resources. Okay, so I ended up kind of flying around a little bit here. Um, actually, where am I compared to? I think that's my ship. Way over there. Way over there. Pretty sure that's a ship. Uh, this is actually a bit closer to the base. The base is right over there, so we didn't actually go that far. It kind of went out and around and then doubled back. Uh, but I remembered, a long time ago anyway, it was said, it was known, that uh, dark spots on the surface usually indicated ore. So like that's light snow and that's gray snow. So I kind of did the same thing over here, but I kept running into ice. And I was thinking, well, maybe that's all it is, is that it's just ice, right? Because as you get down further, you end up into the ice stuff, but then it's just stone down there. So I was like, well, maybe that's just ice. But as I was walking away, it actually wasn't there a second ago. See, like right here, didn't happen. Oh, wait, maybe it did. Maybe it just took a minute. So apparently there is iron down here and cobalt. It just came up again. So let's see if we can make our way over to the iron. Ah, here we go. Now I'm not super worried about the um, 
stone and stuff. And I also learned, um, thanks to the comments of a previous video, man, it's been a couple of them though, I don't remember how many it's been, um, that if you drill with the right uh, mouse key, it will actually ignore um, the drops. So I had mentioned, you know, I was tearing up the ground and tunneling and all that stuff, and I was having to do the F10 clear out thing. Well, apparently you can just hit right mouse button and it will do the same thing. So it looks like we have a pretty good iron vein here going on. Um, I don't know if you drill... It seems like sometimes I'm picking this stuff up and then other times I'm not. So I guess if you are pointed right at the block and you are still drilling, I guess it'll pick up some of the materials. Um, I don't need this stone. So let's go ahead and drop that. I probably don't even need the ice with the, um, whatchamacallit, the matter, the matter, the uh, air, wow, moisture evaporator thingy. I don't even need the ice more than I need the iron right now. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to drop it. I mean, we'll leave it here, and if it's still there when I come back, we can come pick it up. But uh, let's also make our way down towards the cobalt, if we can. Kind of like go through the iron and try and get to cobalt. Might not be a bad idea. I mean... By the looks of things, I won't have any room to pick it up. Oh, hey, no, I should bring the ship over here, you dummy. That's kind of what it was for, right? Okay. Um, how is... Ooh, I only have 16 on my hydrogen bottle. That's not great. Probably should have grabbed the other one. And I kind of completely forgot that there was a storage unit on my ship. And did not really bring anything with me. Alright, so what I'm thinking is, once I get the ship over here, I probably won't really need to use my jetpack too much. So kind of what I'm thinking, I probably only have about one, one more refill on that. So kind of what I'm thinking, uh, let's see, cargo... I don't know which one's first here. I guess 11 is the one that I'm accessing. So let's see... Eh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just... Wait a minute. Why is this all stone? Oh, that's only 46. I have 10k of iron. Okay. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'll bring the ship over here. And then I shouldn't really need to use... Um... Shouldn't really need to use the whatchamacallit um, jetpack too much. And once the ship is loaded up, then we should have enough uh, that we can kind of make our way back to the base. I'm thinking. Ooh, I do not have much power on this though. Man, I thought I thought maybe charging all that time it would have had a little bit more juice but it is not really happy about me going over here, am I? Or is it? Ugh. Only get about 30 seconds left. Maybe? That's generous. Come on now, stop. My dampeners are on. Quit it. Ooh, man, this is not good. I don't know why it seems like it's having such a hard time slowing down and stuff. It wasn't doing that before. Uh, maybe because of power? Possibly? Okay. Um. Wait, no, turn all that off. Okay. Alright, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna hope it charges up a little bit more. And we're going to do some more mining and see what we can get. Okay, so overall not doing too bad. Um, I think I filled up the ship as well as my inventory, so we got quite a bit of iron. Um, so yeah, in case any of you are watching and hadn't done survival or planets or whatever, most of you already have because you're usually telling me what to do. 
but just in case. Um, obviously this is stone, this is iron, ice, and then cobalt I found down here is this blue looking stuff. So that's cobalt. Oh, I missed a couple iron pieces. Dang, nabbit. No room now. Alright, so... Thankfully my jetpack and stuff has lasted me this long. I've just kind of been babying it and just jumping in and out of the mine and then leaving. I also found out um, at some point I neglected to wire up the cockpit to the storage system because I was thinking I don't need the tank or anything, but I forgot that the, uh, the cockpit can actually hold stuff. So this has 10,000 uh, liters in here where the cargo containers only have like 125, or I mean 1250. So, yeah, this actually holds more than any of these, so I definitely should have wired this up. Oh, well. Alright, now... <laughs> now, the question is, can we get back? I don't know how this solar panel still has um, four, but whatever. Okay, um, let's turn you off from discharge mode. Turn power saving on, we'll turn that off, turn that off. I have one minute, it looks like. Um, actually, why am I not getting lift? It, I wonder, is, is that because... I'm wondering if the, um, if the lack of thrusters and stuff, like, I can't seem to fly up. I'm wondering if it's because the power's too weak, is kind of what I'm thinking. So, yeah, that could be a bit of an issue. Hmm. Well... That's going to be a problem, because if that's actually the case and it's not getting, see, like, the max required input, maybe it's not getting the max input, so the thrust isn't high enough, so ergo, we are semi-stranded. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It only has three kilowatt hours in it, so that's not going to fly. Um, <laughs> literally, not going to fly. So, then, well... I don't have a whole lot of options here. I guess I just have to fly back to the base manually and hope that eventually this gets charged up enough that I can come back and fly at home. Which is kind of unfortunate. But as I said, it ain't gonna fly. So yeah, I guess let's just head back to the base. Luckily I can see it there. This is kind of some weird terrain stuff too. It kind of looks like some giant dragon or something took a claw to it. Okay. I might actually kind of coast down a little bit. And then let my dampener slow me down. Something like that. Should work. Okay. So yeah, let me get, uh, let me get back over here and load up the uh, assembler or refinery or whatever. Okay, so we are back at the base. Our power's doing okay. Stored up to about 800 kilowatt hours, so that's cool. Um, I loaded up the refinery, wherever it is, with all the iron that I had on me at the time, as well as the scrap. So we're going to see, A, how long this can last. Um... Max requires 560, that's so much. Okay, so that's depleted in an hour. All that power we stored up and it goes away in an hour. Meh! Um, inventory. How's this going though? What is this making? So... That's actually making a lot of iron. I think it's... I'm not an expert on this at the moment, but it's kind of looking somewhere in the ballpark to about, I don't know, maybe 500 or something per, per thousand iron, so maybe a two to one ratio. 
give or take. Maybe even closer to 1 to 1. I'm not sure, like maybe a 0.75 to 1. Or 1 to 0.75. I'm not sure. But um, th it definitely seems like you're gaining less iron bars than you have put in ore, basically. But let's see. We're at... Let's watch this really close. So at about... Five, we were at 295, give or take. So at four, I don't know, it should be closer to 370? Or 3.7? Or 3.5. Okay, so it is about a uh, thousand iron makes about 500 ingots. So give or take, that's somewhere around a two to one ratio. But that shouldn't take too long uh, to get done with. I needed a access panel for maybe just a button or something to turn the refinery off because I'm going through here, but then I have to find the refinery. Okay, and I don't want it to do the stone thing even though it's going to try to. I probably could turn off the uh, conveyor system actually. That's probably a not a bad idea. Turn that off. And then when this gets done, it should just stop. Perfect. So, l nope. <sighs> you knucklehead. So later, that won't be a big issue. Uh, but while I'm trying to conserve power and stuff, yeah, that's that's a little bit more of a, of a thing. Okay, so it should be back to recharging. All good. Unfortunately, while iron helps me build the base, it's not going to help me get my ship back. Now, the only way I could do that, I did recharge my hydrogen tanks or bottles or whatever. So the only thing I could do is fly back up there, dismantle the reactor just a touch and get one of the components back, come back, get the uranium out of here. Come, Actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. So, here's a scenario I hadn't thought about. Um, the reactor's not enough power either. As you can see, the red line goes off and I can't lift off. So I don't know what's going on, but the reactor itself is not enough power. And I can even turn the battery and stuff on. It's still just not getting enough juice. I wonder... I wonder if I could do something really crazy, which is turning off certain thrusters, maybe, enough to get enough lift, but that's, I don't know, getting into some crazy territory there. So what I might do is leave the battery, um, well, not the battery, yeah, the battery and the reactors on, as well as the solar panel, because if I do that, I should be getting... Okay, it's set to recharge, so why is it not recharging? It should be getting an input. I was trying to get the reactor to power the battery. Let's turn that on. Or off, whatever. Um, set that, turn that on. Okay. There we go. Fully recharged. All right, so that's my only guess is I'm gonna have to give this enough juice that then I can get the ship to fly, but that's really weird. So what's the max output? Four megawatts. That That's where it is because the small reactor is about 500 kilowatts. So my emergency backup reactor is virtually not an emergency backup reactor at all. So that's interesting. I have no idea how the solar panel is getting four dots right now, but I'm not knocking it. Uh, so, yeah. Little stranded. So this, so overall, so far in our episode, it was like, you know, a decent mining run. Got quite a bit of ore. You know what? That's probably the other thing I didn't think about. It's weighted down. I just now thought about that. It's, a, it's weighted down. So, yeah. 
max required input. It doesn't tell me how much thrust each... I didn't even think about that. But I've got all this weight on the ship now. Hmm. Well. That's interesting. I completely, completely forgot about that. But a heavier ship is going to be harder to fly. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to let that charge for now. I'm going to make a few more runs back down to the base, I think. And see if I can unload some of this weight. Okay, so I kind of got it going. A little bit. I took a little bit of the weight out. The reactor is still not enough to really power the thing, but it is taking the edge off, giving me a little bit more time to work with. Come on, dampeners. Come on, dampeners. Dampeners! Slow down. Slow it. Slow it. Slow it. Okay, good landing gears. Because <laughs> I don't think that should have... I don't think that should have worked. Okay. Uh, let's not go too quick. Because whatever I go, I gotta slow it back down. Uh oh, uh oh, it ran out of power. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, so at this point, I'm still just letting it charge. I did take most of the weight out. In fact, I think I got pretty much all of the resources out of it at this point. So that's something we'll have to take into account with future tests and stuff later. Is if it's fully weighted down, will it even fly? Or do I need more thrusters, aka more power, and so on and so forth. So it, as it stands, this is kind of a decent scout ship and portable storage unit. But once you start storing in it, it kind of gets locked up. So, yeah, that did not go as I expected it to, at all, um, even in the slightest. So, yeah, a wee bit interesting there. Um, but, on the plus side, we did still manage to get quite a bit of iron, and we did do some problem solving with the, uh, with the ship. So currently I've almost got about 50,000 iron so that if our estimates are correct that should translate somewhere to about 25,000 iron bars theoretically over time. Um, in fact let me go ahead and turn that on. I'm just gonna let that run for a bit. Um, I do need, though, some people had been suggesting to do efficiency upgrades and things to it, which is probably not a bad idea at all. I just gotta figure out um, what resources they cost. Let's see here, where'd they go? Down at the bottom. Speed, power efficiency. Oh, that's just nickel and iron. That's not bad at all. So. I guess let's do... What do I have access to? I think three or four. So let's do that, actually. So we'll turn that on and we'll turn the refinery off for a minute. Uh, when... When this is all done... Actually... I guess I can use this at some point. All this stuff... Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna let it run, because I probably have what I need to make it. Um, but yeah, so let me tinker with that a little bit, and we might make that before we wrap this episode up. Alrighty, so I managed to... I don't know why I'm walking so slow all of a sudden now. But even the sound's kind of out of sync, so I don't really know what that's about. Um, but yeah, so I added on, I extended out the back another layer, as you can see, 
I return I added my ramp back. Um, let's see. This should be off now because it's done. All right, good. And oh yeah, no, I don't have my uh, jetpack. Need to switch out the hydrogen bottles. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, I went ahead and added... At the moment, I just did four efficiency ones, power efficiency, because it's not really taking it an astronomical amount of time to refine anything, but I wanted to cut down on the power. So power efficiency is 500% now. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And it's down to 112 kilowatts, which I think is even less than the assembler. A lot less. So that's pretty cool. And it's still cranking away. Uh, and it's really not dinging the power too, too much. So that's pretty awesome. I'm liking that a lot. All right. So, yeah, that's cranking away. We'll have a lot more iron to work with, as well as cobalt when it's done. And I think it's got enough power that it should be able to do everything without really hitting the power grid too much. But, yeah, so we definitely learned some stuff about the, uh, about the ship, though, that we're going to have to fix. Namely, it's, it's power or thrust. I'm not really sure which is the more detrimental. I think it's power... Um, but the thrust could have been either from power or just from... I totally forgot that we had loaded it all up, like, full of, uh, ore. So, it might just have to do with the, the power source being... Or the thrust not having enough once it's fully loaded. So, that's something we'll have to work with in the next episode or something. But I think we're going to wrap things up here for this one. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!